Greetings and welcome, fellow champions and adventurers, to another episode of Let's Play Lands of Law, Throne of Chaos. Alright, so I managed to find a place to rest. Slightly further ahead, I mean... Uh, so many, so many hornets. And, uh... Do I have a better weapon than this? Uh, let's... I don't know if the Emerald Blade is, a, is something I can keep using like that. Let's see. Longsword. And I have a better weapon. I mean, Rapier Ripper is not better. So next, Apathy Staff doesn't work. I mean, I want to use those swarms, but they will only work against something that isn't an insect, so... Kinda of pointless to use that here. Didn't I have a better sword? Just long swords. Well, let's just try the emerald sword for a bit. I have to save game if I need if I find out it's a uh, item I can use up, but I don't know that it is. And who knows, maybe we'll run into some more molders. This is what the undeads are called, I believe. Just try to stay away from the insects for a bit. Well, we try, it's being the operative word. Potentially there is another hive somewhere near here, then. Nice. Might be being attacked again. But the sword is quite powerful. Just a rock. Doesn't give me any other cryptic advice about what might be happening. Alright, that's a different location. Uh, Urbish Mines. Hmm. to go to see the Urbish Mines for reasons, but let's keep exploring for a bit longer. To make sure that we have got everything plotted out. Hmm. Empty. Fill some loose ends that we can explore. Hmm. Empty. I'm not striking it lucky here. Ooh, dagger. Dagger assassin. Hmm. We don't need the stick. So it gives me excellent protection versus undead. Don't know how much of that is true, of course. Right. 
Hmm. Empty. Hmm. Empty. That is disappointing. And hmm. check that one. Empty. Right, where are we? Let's check this side here. And let's say rock. Don't we need the rock? I think this leads to a circle, potentially. That's nothing, right? Yeah, it does lead around. Fine. Ooh, another horn's nest. some enemies that can use these swarms on. Just a little bit up north. Right. This is stick. Is Lee anywhere? Another swarm. Hmm. Empty. We need to find a shop. Actually, use. At least it's briefly quiet, and our rogue levels are going up nice. Mage levels are still lagging behind, but yeah, there's nothing much I can do about that. Ooh, a basil ring. But I want one of those. Where is that coming from? Oh. Undead are not the most ideal, but yeah, why not? Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I don't know exactly about protection, but the, uh, the Emerald Blade certainly seems to be effective against these Molders. I'll take the Born Key. And... Oh, oh. I mean, I do want this Basil Ring. And Bacata doesn't have any uh, ring fingers, so that's unfortunate, but that's fine. I might have someone else that can use it. Right. Does it go on here? Uh, locked. No, apparently it does not. Crossbow Valkyrie, right? I don't really have a yeet. Ooh, Dwarfish Chainmail, is that better? Arch better. Hmm, marginally better than Scale Mail. Hmm. Three crowns. Hmm, empty. Well, then maybe we can come back for that later. I am gonna save though. Alright, so. Uh, still a little bit more to explore in this direction. Where do I go? Uh, this connects back up to where we were before. How about this side? I think we were here before. There's a leather jerkin on the floor. Apparently I missed something. Yeah, whoops. Nothing. Alright, so that should at least... Satisfy that. Just a little bit more to explore, and then I think we'll head for the Urbish Mines. We might be able to find some help there. After all, Paulson went to the Irish hmm. mines. Empty. He might have found something that we could be useful. I don't know exactly what the crossbow Valkyrie does. Potentially, it's stronger than the uh, Shining Star. That's a dead end. I think we have covered all the potential dead ends. Still some buzzing about that I can hear. Hopefully that's far away. You fellows have become bothersome. Don't press your luck. You don't want to make me angry. I have business in the tower now and I do not wish to be disturbed. I wish she would just stay and fight. Are you ready, Michael? Alright, Scotia's barrier is going to prevent us from going any further. Alright, so we have no choice now. Let's head for the Urbish Mines. Hopefully Scotia will be busy with her tower. And she will not bother us.
Mm. I don't really have anything I want to sacrifice for the... And the aloe could still be useful. Later. We can come back for this later. Potentially it might still be there. Losing one swarm will not be the end of the world, it's just a pity. The mines do not look inviting. They probably are not. Definitely gonna save because I do not trust this. Ah, this pot must gather moisture from above. At least it's not completely dark here. And if Scotia is in the Tower of Ivil, he probably won't bother us too much. Do you suppose there could be another entrance? Uh, this one may not work. I don't have enough magic. Last, I don't have enough magic. That's not gonna help. Alright, let's just cross that off as not worth bothering with just yet. Lots of these pots with an oil flask. Ah, this pot must gather moisture from above. This leads back to the forest. Different part of the forest? Apparently. Definitely something in the Urbish Mines we should be able to do, but obviously I do not have the means to do so. I think that large beast is a Larkon. And I think the only known thing you can do hmm. against it is Thank use you. Acid. But for some reason it wouldn't let me. These guys again. Valkyrie crossbow could be useful here. Right. Not sure if we're strong enough for this particular encounter, but we'll see. In any case, that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. If you enjoy my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all then. Bye!